Hey there, Professor Snark checking in just as we get into our um, first workshop for the course, which is really um, the first opportunity to get some feedback on the actual writing that you're doing. In this case, we're going to start with a short story. So you're writing a short story or maybe taking one that you've been working on um, for a while or thinking about um, for a while and then submitting it for workshop. So I'm not going to say too much about you know, there's no guidelines as far as length, although be reasonable in terms of being either too short or too long, um, or style, content, any of that kind of stuff. We really just care about you getting feedback on the writing that you're doing, not writing that I assign for you to do or whatever. Um, but getting the workshop to work, really, um, we're more concerned with just the technical details here. So if I click myself, well, actually, I'm going to go back here, click myself into our due dates, you'll notice that each workshop has a set of due dates, two different due dates. The first one is to make sure that everybody posts their work to the, their group discussion board. You'll see that you're in a group now. Um, so you've posted your work, um, so it's there attached as a file within the discussion board um, for the first due date, which for us is Thursday, June 7th. So that's tomorrow, it's Wednesday right now when I'm recording this. Um, so part of your grade for the workshop is simply posting your stuff correctly in the right spot on time. You get um, points for that, uh, considerable points actually. So uh, it's like almost free money, um, but it is so crucial obviously to get people's work in a, on time to the right spot that for the rest of the workshop to make sense, we really need that to happen. So I'll walk you through some of that in just a second here. And then notice that there's another due date um, where you have provided feedback to all of the members of your group. Um, so you've commented at length on the material they've submitted uh, for workshops. So you've obviously got the file, you've read through it, and then you've provided some comments. And now here, again, is um, really where maybe the most important part of our course is that feedback component. So obviously you're graded on it, right? So you want to do a good job, but it's really the golden rule, which is how workshops work most effectively, is that we as writers want to get meaningful feedback on the work that we're doing, not just, you know, it was okay or even it was great. That might feel good, but it doesn't really help us improve as writers, and it certainly doesn't help us to improve that piece of writing. So one of the first things to realize is that for workshop, you don't want to take something that you feel is pretty much finished and submit it to workshop because if you're not willing to make changes or do revisions, then what's the point? So really, that's again why I don't grade the quality of the writing per se, because you might be submitting something that is very first draft. And you can say that when you post it, you know, this is the initial draft of a story that I'm working on, rather than this is the final polished version that I'm not going to make any changes to. Why would, you know, that doesn't work for workshop. I'm not grading you on what you wrote, um, and the people reading it might enjoy the story, but how are they going to give you feedback or any feedback you get you're not willing to incorporate? So there's nothing wrong with submitting writing that you know is not perfect, that you know has even gaps in it or places where you just haven't quite figured out what's going to happen. Um, that's the purpose of workshops, so don't be concerned to have a perfectly polished piece of writing that you're submitting for workshop. Um, and like I said, when you post that to the discussion board, there's nothing wrong with indicating exactly where in the writing process this might be. Something that you just started, something you've been thinking about for a long time but just finally got on paper, or something that has been through a few drafts but maybe you're stuck on a character, you're stuck on an ending, you're stuck on a beginning. All of that stuff is good to let your workshop people know so that they can give you feedback um, in those areas, you know, especially if you want it specifically in particular parts or having to do with particular aspects of the story. Um, so back to the golden rule idea, obviously because we as writers are looking for really meaningful feedback from our group members, that means, obviously, that you have to give meaningful feedback. So that means writing at length about someone's um, work, quoting directly or providing very precise um, kind of pointers like the introduction's good. Well, the introduction might be the first two pages. It might be the first sentence. So that's not very helpful. So something much more specific about, you know, the image of the kite and the tree that you use on page two um, 
doesn't seem to make sense because later on it's a bird or whatever. <laughs> or maybe it does make sense because it's one of those kind of stories. But you get the idea, right? You as the writer can then take that information, know specifically where to go in your story and figure out, well, does that work? Does it not work? What do I have to do to change it and all that kind of stuff? Um, just because your, your feedback might indicate that someone didn't like or was confused by a certain point, that doesn't mean that you have to change it. But if two or three people in your group all point to um, a confusing section or to a kind of wording that doesn't work, then you know that's the bulk of your readers at this point, and you really do need to you know, legitimately look at that part of your writing to see if there's some way to improve it. And so being able to improve as a writer really, really depends on getting meaningful feedback from your workshop group. Um, and so, uh, again, because of the way the course is structured and that I just don't want to be in the business of grading your writing per se, um, the, the bulk of the feedback you get on your, your writing, your creative writing, is really through these workshops. So you'll notice that there's more time. We have the split due dates. Um, uh, you know, this is where the bulk of our energy wants to go here into these workshop units. Okay, so as far as the technical stuff then, hopefully it's explained in a, in a pretty step-by-step -step clear manner here in the unit. So I click into unit five. There's a little reminder that you might want to read the workshop, like how the workshop work, uh, workshops work, little piece here, again, sort of like giving meaningful feedback. But really it's the how to post thing, and you'll notice you'll, that there's groups set up. You can click yourself into your group. You'll see a page that lists your group members, but then also a group tools that'll probably say discussion board and maybe an email function. It's the discussion board that we want. So I would click myself into that, and then you don't want to create a forum at that point. That sort of messes things up as, how, as far as Black, how Blackboard is set up. You want to then click into that link where you see Unit 5 Workshop Group 1 or Unit 8 Group 2 or whatever point we're at in the course. Within there, that will take you to the discussion board that we want to use. The same editor we've used for other discussion boards. So the subject could be your name, the title of the work, whatever. You're attaching your document uh, as a file. You're not just pasting it as a bunch of text in. And then within the message body of the post here, that would be a good place to say this is a story about whatever. Um, I've been working on it for a long time, or I just started it. I'd really like help with the ending, the beginning, uh, the dialogue, any and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so that's where you can really direct your readers to help give you fe feedback that's going to be most um, meaningful for you. Again, as far as the uh, requirements for the story itself that you're posting, there's a word limit, but again, because of stylistic things, especially in creative writing, you can have um, a long piece that reads very quickly or a short piece that's very dense. So the word count is, you know, just so people don't go off the deep end one way or the other. But there's nothing about the subject matter, the style, first person, third person, old, new, anything like that. Um, the only real requirement is that you need to, uh, it needs to show that you invested the time even if it's not complete, but at least on a basic level as far as editing for grammar, typos, readability kinds of things. So that your workshop folks aren't struggling with that basic level to get at more of the idea stuff, which is really what you want feedback on. You don't want feedback about your spelling's horrible. Um, that doesn't, I mean, it's probably true if people are seeing that, but it's not really helpful in terms of improving as a writer. So just be sure that you've invested some time and some effort in cleaning that part of it up so that your workshop people can really get to the stuff that matters ultimately. Okay, so the workshop groups are listed here. Again, you can just click your way into the right spot. Be sure you post your stuff as a file by the first workshop due date. And then for that next due date, you're providing feedback to everybody in the group who posted on time. If there's someone who posts late, you can make your own judgment about whether you want to provide some feedback or not. Um, and especially because, again, our compressed time period, but because the workshop is really the core of our creative writing course, if anything goes wrong as far as the links don't work the right way or you're not getting, um, 
you're not able to uh, attach your file or just whatever, be in touch with me right away so I can get in there and fix things or we can figure stuff out together so that um, we can make this workshop work. Otherwise, you miss one of the, the couple of opportunities in the course to really get some substantial feedback on the writing that you're doing. Okay, so as with anything else then, be in touch if you have questions or concerns or whatever, and uh, be sure you post that um, short story file on time and in the right spot, and then we're off to the races.